Now, Dr. Collins has a lot to say, and I do not want to uh, cut into his uh, time. Um, on the other hand, uh, if I do cut into his time, well, like, what's he going to do, right? Uh, you know, with his, even with all his degrees and awards and everything, there's really nothing that he can do, all right? That's what an education's worth in this culture, nothing. That for his role in leading the Human Genome Project, genome, G-E-N-O-M-E, -E, not gnome. Some of my friends, they said, oh, that's pseudoscience. And I said, not gnome, it's genome. That's the kind of people that I hang out with. You say genome, genome? Geno? Genome. <laughs> Evidently it's genome. You know, and he, he would know, I guess. He has been feted at the White House by two presidents, not simultaneously, <laughs> uh, by two presidents, Clinton and Bush. Uh, he has also gotten, I'm, I'm referring to Dr. Collins, uh, he's also gotten the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Let's be honest, who hasn't gotten one of those, but still. In this case, it was very splashy, it was in the papers. In 2003, uh, he, his was the biography of the year on the A&E Network. It was voted the number one biography of the year, and he beat out Valerie Bertinelli by one vote. Is that amazing? So anyway, at 5.30, he, we had to take him to a special room so he could have his, his special phone call with the Obama transition team. It's eight guys, that's the team, and he had a a call with them and you know I I saw him in there you know talking on the phone and whatever and I gotta say this is where it gets kinda sad because we want everybody wants to cling to power you know and I I, I, I realize I happen to know his cell phone is broken it's not working <laughs> and that and to go through this exercise to convince just a handful of us who already are impressed with Dr. Collins that he's still that he's still important even though he stepped down, that he's still, you know, he's still, I, I said, wow, that's just a, that's just a picture of, 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 you know, hey, who, who isn't like that? I'm like that, okay? We're no, we're no different, okay? I lie all the time, and I do that kind of stuff because I just want people to think, you know, that I got the juice, that I got the mojo, and, and I thought, but if, if Dr. Collins could behave like that, it must be okay, right? So I just want to say, He's a human being. He's no different than the rest of us, okay? But uh, it was quite an acting job. He was pacing and stuff, and I said that the phone's dead. It's sad. It's sad. Well, in the two minutes I have left, <laughs> Eric, are you speaking anywhere in the next few months that I could introduce you? In 2005, for the first time, we had sufficient power to be able to scan the whole genome and say, where is the ticking time bomb or bombs for a particular disease? And the first success, right there on chromosome one over there, which you can't quite read, was for a disease called age-related macular degeneration. Almighty God, who is not limited in space or time, created our universe 13.7 billion years ago with those parameters precisely tuned to allow the development of complexity, not by accident, by intention. And I believe God gave us two books. One was the book of God's Word, that's the Bible, and the other was the book of God's works, which is nature.